Um, I don't know if y'all have ever seen the YouTube channel or heard of the YouTube channel Little Shadowversity, but the host of that channel, um, he, a couple years back, started. Um, he posted a series of videos on writing and how to be a good writer. And so, and he and he criticized his own writing that he'd done some of the some of the drafts for novels that he'd written and and then a couple years later one or two years later uh, announced that soon he was going to be releasing his own novel his very first novel and I was like, you know what? I think I'm going to pre-order this thing and, you know, and read it for, <laughs> read it for myself. You know, so um, about a year ago, I got the paperback for Shadow of the Conqueror by Shad and Brooks, The Chronicles of Everfall, and I started reading it. I got into like chapter five and I would, it wasn't that it wasn't bad it was just that it was very heavy on explaining of uh, the character's powers that he receives the, the main character receives some powers and the first few chapters are about how he's learning to use his powers it does a whole lot of explanation, and I'm like, Ugh. but then, and uh, so I put it aside for almost a year. It, it wasn't until recently I started listening to the audiobook, and I'm like, you know what, I'm just going to power through this. And by the time of uh, the main say. <laughs> The main secondary characters are introduced. I was, I was like, you know, I started getting into it, and then the more I listened, the more I, I liked it. And it reminded me of when I first started watching Doctor Who. Like the first couple episodes are like, ugh, a little iffy. Like you're, you feel like you're just trudging through it. But there is still a level of interest that keeps you, uh, that keeps you intrigued. And then by the time, time I got to episode six, where where the Daleks were introduced to the new generation of Doctor Who fans, you're like, okay, this is getting good, and it gets better. And that is what it was like with Shadow Noah of the Conqueror. <laughs> The first few chapters, it feels like you're trudging through. It's kind of sluggish, and it seems like it's just going to be heavy-handed with exp explanation of things. But the more the, the story develops, and the more the characters develop, the more intrigued you are. And not going to say the main character, Dalen Marin... <sighs> I really wanted to hate him because, like, uh, I'm going to get into some spoilers probably in my next video on the review, but I'm just going to say that he did some really horrible stuff in his first life. Like, he was known as the Great Bastard, and he was. Good lord. And then, in the second life, he's, he's still does some pretty messed up stuff. Thank Vlad the Impaler. But by the end of the book, uh, he, he's finally able to forgive himself for his past life. And he, he learns that he is not that same person that he was. 
and he's already made amends with one person that he's wronged. And hopefully even the next book he he really starts to make amends with the other person that has come into his life. Two characters that he hurt in his past life he meets up with in this life. So if you haven't read it, I really do encourage you to read it because it's a good story and the main character is nothing like I've ever seen before or read before. Like, think about how in Brandon Sanderson's Mistborn series, it starts off with the bad guys have won. This, in this, the villain is the hero. And by the end of the book, 